Okay. Alright everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country. Boogie, did you die? Uh, yeah, I did. Um, but welcome to Donkey Kong Country 2. Yeah. In which we'll be finishing the game, hopefully, in this, this recording session. Yeah, hopefully we will, because now that I've finished my classes, I don't actually feel like doing anything productive anymore. And, you know, Alpine isn't exactly what comes to mind when I think of productive things, but it's still more productive than sitting around doing nothing. Yeah, it's, it's more productive than playing Ninja Gaiden 2, which Kevin's been doing. Uh, yeah, this is definitely true. Although, I, I think that playing, uh, like, Ninja Gaiden Black might be, might be more productive than this. Yeah, or, or, or Sigma. I, I've been playing Sigma myself. Certainly, uh, collecting at Wells is uh, more productive than anything in Ninja Gaiden 2. Yeah. Do you collect at Wells in Ninja Gaiden 2? Uh, you don't really collect anything. In fact, if you miss any items, you just buy them in the next stage for really cheap. Oh dear, I yeah. got hit. I got hit by those uh, underwater Wait, so shrink. like, they, they nerfed the item prices too? Uh, I don't know. You know, I'm only playing on hard, so it's possible uh. that that the items get more expensive. Oh, I'm really sucking. I haven't played this game in like three weeks. Who cares? It's so easy. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this is true. Well, I mean, in that deleted video, you you were having some problems. That that deleted video doesn't count for anything. That deleted video doesn't exist. In fact, never mention it again. I'm sorry. You, you uh, Nick's be. gonna post in a thread about how cool he is and how much we suck for not including him in this recording. He's uh, he might. Yeah. And uh, to if, which he, I, if he does, uh, I'm just gonna have to tell him to go make another uh, another LP of his own, I guess. Yeah. Whoa, Unguard's like floating. Wow. What the fuck? Oh yeah, that's a glitch. It's it's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, I just have one thing to say. Just, I have to get this out here. Class sucks. What sucks? Class. Oh, yeah. That That's just kind of a, a known fact now. Yeah. Oh, the water's lowering again. Oh no, the water. Yeah, it's the horrible water. What do we do without our water? I don't know. Seeing as we're in, a to in like an arctic cave, we'd probably uh, freeze to death a little bit less if we didn't have the water. Then yeah. again, we already proved in Donkey Kong Country 1 that the monkeys are like arctic monkeys who are who are completely okay. resistant to cold. That too. And poison and toxic waste and whatnot. Yeah, if they get hit by like like a nuclear explosion, they'll just like run off, leaving the other different. No, they'll, they'll probably start like wrapping out like this as everyone else <laughs> around them burns and dies. Oh yeah, I, I saw the Indi An Indiana Jones movie last <laughs> night. It was pretty cool how he survives a nuclear explosion by hiding in a fridge. That Haven't was, you ever done that? Pretty... I do it. I do it like it da daily, basically. It was, it was very realistic and true to my life. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? That, that's the key to making a good movie these days. You've got to make it realistic and good to life. I yeah. mean, I, I went and saw the Hulk, and I didn't really like it. But if it had bees like this game did, it probably would have been amazing. You know, oh, I mean, bees, bees are... make yeah, bees make everything realistic and awesome. Well, think about it. Everyone's been stung by a bee. Everyone knows how it feels. It's not pleasant. They can they can uh, identify with our heroes. Indeed, that's why Donkey Kong Country 2 is pretty much the, the most poignant and touching story of our generation. And I think that everyone's been in a windstorm at some point in their lives, so they can and, really and, and understand it... this level too. And they've drif drifted slowly upward while people threw their hook hands at them. Well, you know drifting's all the rage these days. Yeah. Everyone goes out and drifts in their in their sports cars. Hell, that's what Diddy would yeah. be doing right now if he could. Yeah, he'd be doing some multi-track drifting, definitely. Yeah. You know, well, you know, they, uh, you do drift in Diddy Kong Racing, so it's not that far-fetched. Well, actually, you're the, the Diddy yeah. Kong Racing uh, champion among us, so 
you do drift in Diddy Kong Racing, right? I mean, I haven't played it in like 10 years. Yeah, I, I haven't played it in equally as long, but I actually beat all of it, so I, I don't know. You don't know. Well, I'll take your word for it then. It's just, just, it's, 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 it, it's an extremely hard game, I'm not gonna lie. It's ridiculous. Yeah, this game's not Which, that hard. <laughs> I wonder which why is why... It, yeah, so why did they decide to make the Donkey Kong Country games hard anyway? I mean, they never were know. before. And then suddenly you got like Donkey Kong Racing and Donkey Kong Country 64 with beaver herding. Well, the problem with Diddy Kong Racing is the silver coin challenges, which they took out of the DS port. Oh, really? Did this, that that yeah. was like half the game. Yeah, they're just gone in the DS port. Wow, that, yeah, because that was like half the game. You know, I wonder uh, how like a Donkey Kong platformer like this would fare with silver coin challenges. You know, silver coins and hard to get parts of the level. I think that might work well. Yeah, that'd be actually pretty cool. Too bad Rare is now dedicated to making like basically the worst games possible. Yeah, pretty much. So, you know, I, I don't think I've gotten a chance to mention it yet, but this is probably my favorite level in the game. It, like, mixes oh, yeah. all the best elements in the game together. You've got bees, you've got the mine music, and this uh, gimmick with wind going up, it's actually done really well. It's done a lot better than the wind in other parts of the game. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And you're, you're gonna kill a guy here and yeah. get a bonus barrel. That's what I Just do is I kill guys. Commentary. Well, you know, um, I'm, sh I'm sure that if, if we needed to, we could spice up the commentary in some way or another. Like a cow? I'm not really sure. I'm sure we Band could fix. come up with something. Um, you know, that's probably a bad idea. I, maybe I shouldn't have brought that idea up. Okay. But there's so many great fanfics on the net for Donkey Kong Country. Although, speaking of fan fiction, yeah. you know, we, we were figuring out where the game was going and how, like, in, in Gloomy Gulch, we had died and come back. So, I think yeah. this, this world right here, we're actually traveling to the top of the crucifix. And we're going uh, to have a battle yeah. with Jesus at the top. Basically, he gets knocked down, but get, he gets up again. Yeah. You're never going to keep him down. Pretty much. Cool. Although, uh, you know, he might have superpowers this time. We c we're gonna have to watch out. Yeah. Well, I mean, Jesus always had superpowers. They just weren't very good. Well, you know, we could, uh, we could use our own superpowers, like, like turning into a rhino. Well, like, yeah, like, like, who, who wants to heal the lame and lepers and whatever? I, 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 I'd rather just, like, be able to blow things up. Yeah, well, you know, um... But C could you like he, tear off some guy's arm and use the, the weapon and then heal him so you could then tear his arm off again? I think it'd be more efficient just to use an actual weapon. <laughs> Quite possibly, but you know, in a pinch. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. May maybe Jesus has got my. He's he's like gotten himself a geese, so he's hardcore now. Oh, okay. Maybe he always had one. Maybe that's how he made water into wine. That's his geese. Oh yeah, that, that's a pretty useless geese. Like like. Yeah, I can't imagine any circumstance in, in which I want to have wine instead of water, because um, you know water is kind of essential for life. Yeah, same here. But you know, there's I'm sure there's a lot of people who like drinking wine for whatever reason. Yes, but like, what what, what if your wa water into wine geese became uncontrollable and you actually accidentally <laughs> turned all of the water in the world into wine? Where um, would we be then? I think that we'd be in a much more interesting place. Yes, a uh, place known as death. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we would be in death. We'd definitely be in death. Although I wasn't aware that death was actually a place. Yeah, it is now. Okay then. So, um... Randy why died do you suppose for that King K. Rule has this, like, giant crusher in his castle? He's a sick man. He's a very sick man. Well, yeah, but I, I imagine that something like this has to serve some sort of practical purpose. BDSM. 
But that seems a bit uh contrived for just simple BDSM to me. Well, he's got chains all over the walls and bees. Well, yeah, but uh, I don't know. It just seems like uh, this is a rather big installation for something simple like that. Oh yeah, I have to. I don't know. Up. Maybe he's into group BDSM. Like, this is like more than group BDSM. This is like massive BDSM. Massively multiplayer online BDSM. Yeah. Basically. I think uh, you. Well, actually, no. I was about to say that you had invented a new genre, but I'm sure someone's already done it. I'm sure it's pretty much Second Life has invented everything. Ah. Uh, what if uh, someone should uh, mod Second Life to include this Castle Crusher for yeah. like BDSM stuff? And you should have so to pay like... lots of American dollars for it. Yeah. So, like, I want a 360, but I also don't want to have to obtain money. How should I get one? Um, you can steal one. Hmm. That, that's what, uh, I think that's what Ice does to get all of his stuff. <laughs> Why are we making jokes about that? <laughs> I don't know. We've, uh, we've liked to make obscure jokes before. By the way, it's, yeah. uh, it's about 3,000 points if you get that one. So, uh, I, I have the urge to make a Star Ocean 2 joke here. Yeah, so did I, except I couldn't remember the exact point value. I think it's like, uh, well, there's a couple of different point values. There's like 80, 60, and 40. Maybe it's 30. And he, he just sounds so dejected when he says the lower lowest value. He's like, that was around 40 points. <laughs> I haven't played that game in a long time, but why do you want a 360? So I can play Tales of Vesperia and Star Ocean 4. Star Ocean 3 was terrible. No, actually Star Ocean uh, 3 is a really good game if you do two things. You skip every cutscene in the game and you ignore the first five hours of it. In fact, I recommend just like keeping a new save like when the gameplay actually starts on every difficulty. Ah. But it has like it has basically probably the best battle system in any RPG. I real and it has really great music. Yeah, I, I love the game, but I hate the story. It's just, it's just terrible. More like you love electric guitar riffs, so you love the game. Hey, Motoi Sakuraba is the man, basically. So, but, but the problem with uh, owning a 360, like you want to do, yeah. is if you go that route, then you're gonna feel obligated to play Ninja Gaiden too, and that's not something that you want to do to yourself. Well. I, I, I'm also feeling obligated to play Sonic 2K6 since I have a PS3, so... Oh, okay, well, then you should probably just kill yourself now, and I could just, like... Like, right now, during oh. during this, this during game the LP. Play, yeah, it would be, a, yeah. it would be a, quite a spectacular LP if you did that. In fact, yeah, it like, might increase my views. So, uh, no. <laughs> what, what if like the newspapers picked up on it and became and like LPs became like the new violent video games? Um, then more people would watch them, and right. uh, we have more people would make, yeah, more people would make bad YouTube LPs. That's and then we would happen. we'd get copycats who would try to, to outdo to outdo us, and so they'd have mm. like group suicides on during LPs. Wow, that's, that's that's pretty that's pretty grim. Yeah, but you're, you know it's in a future. Oh, oopsie! Wow, and that was nice nice work. You're so good at this game. Yeah, I should probably kill myself. Probably. Uh -oh. Wow, that was pretty close. So I think <laughs> I did just kill myself. Yeah, um, I think you did. So yeah, suicide LP is the next big thing. Um, how do we make them popular? I mean, the sad fact is that most people just don't want to kill themselves. Well, maybe if we had Jesus' geese, we could revive them. So that they, uh, we could find a few people who didn't want to kill themselves and just have them LP over and over again? Yeah, we could, like, oh, shit. like the people in the Metroid Limit thread, I'm sure they don't mind killing themselves at this point.
like every single one of them, anyone who's ever posted in that thread. I'm sure you've posted in that thread. Yeah. I posted in that thread many times. Ah. Uh, well, well, you know, you're you're already going to kill yourself, so that's yeah. That's I no mean, surprise. Yeah. This is a given. So, uh. So, uh, how were you gonna do it? I was gonna take an on guard and jab him through my sternum. That sounds like a good way to go. Yeah. Uh, he's kind of big though. I mean, look, you can clearly see that he's like bigger than than uh, Diddy and Dixie combined. Yeah, well, uh, I can manage. Have you been lifting weights, Moogie? Yeah, just so I can kill myself. You know, I actually, I, what I think's happened is uh, you've been playing Ninja Gaiden and that's kind of inspired you. You want to be like Ryu Hayabusa. Yeah, pretty so much. So you've been lifting weights. Yeah, I, I've been I've been practicing my wall runs. Are you gonna um, Are you gonna kick any gun drones? Yeah, I'm gonna spin Zaku them basically. Ah, that's cool. I did that once. What the? I was walking on water. <laughs> I guess uh, Diddy is Jesus. So. Pretty much. Yeah, I you know I, I killed him earlier, so I guess when I did that, I I was killing Jesus. Oopsie. So yeah, I just killed Jesus. I hope you guys cool. like your Jesus stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, nobody's ever gonna make better Jesus stuff than Passion of the Christ. That's true, but you know, so many people like that, I can only assume that they're gonna like our Jesus stuff too. Yeah, I mean, like, why haven't people made more Jesus stuff? It seems like a profitable genre. I don't know, and as you just saw, Dixie seemed pretty happy about that Jesus stuff. Okay, I just got it all. So, Salon de Mailon. Is this like a salon where you mail stuff? Uh, yes. It's also a BDSM dungeon. So, um, it's a BDSM salon where you mail stuff. That's, I think that's pretty innovative. I mean, has anyone ever yeah. tried it before? It might I'm be. I'm quite it might sure be. they have. <laughs> what the fuck? I hate you. I mean, Kevin, you're you're underestimating people's potential here. I I think I am. In fact, I think that you've actually tried it yourself, and uh, yeah. it didn't work out as planned. Oh, also, insert jokes about B D S M here. Oh, nice. <laughs> that, was that was pretty a, awesome. <laughs> that was a combo. So B D S M. Uh, well, you mentioned earlier that usually it includes bees, so I think that kind of was implied. Yeah, pretty much. So here's what I'm wondering. Why are there bananas yeah. in random places like that? Do the developers really think the bananas are good enough prizes to go after? I guess. I mean, they get you an extra life if you collect 100. I mean, like I've seen in um, Mario ROM packs all the time. They just, like, they have these areas that are difficult to get to, and all you get for going to them is points. Yeah. Pretty much. At least you get something that has, like, some sort of small value in this game. As opposed to? Um... I don't know. As opposed to your mom. My mom he has, has no, no value. value. That makes yes. me sad, Mookie. That makes me very sad. I'm not, I'm not going to I'm sorry. You. But, uh, you know, at, well, least, at least my mom has more no value than your mom. Yeah, it's, it's pretty terrible. So what am I doing in this one? Oh, bees. Oh, you just, just Azuna drop them? Uh, let's see, Azuna drop, that's... Let me see if I can remember right, that's, a. Uh... Oh, shit. What is it? It's, oh, it's X, Y, X, 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 Y. Yes, um, or square, triangle, square, 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 triangle. Yeah. So, how did you forget the combo for Azuna drop? Because it's not like I actually think about what keys I'm hitting or what buttons I'm pressing. I just kind of press the buttons and it happens. Uh, I've been doing it automatically for several years now. Uh, I guess that's true. Whereas you like only recently started Azuna dropping. Yeah. You know, it's kind uh, of I'm an Azuna dropping noob. It's kind of funny. I have a friend who. Uh, yeah. Who's beaten the game on hard and he still can't do the? What the fuck? That was interesting. Yeah, it was. He's wow, beaten the I'm, game on I'm hard sorry, and he can't everyone. do the Azuna drop. Yeah, he did. I don't know why. I don't know. 
like even how he manages to beat the game if he can't do a, a simple combo, but he does. How did he beat like Awakened Alma? I had to show him how, and then he was able to do it himself. Oh. And uh, yeah, I, I, cause you don't need to know the Azuna drop to beat Awakened Alma. In fact, it doesn't help at all. Well, it's helpful for her minions, I guess. Well, yeah, but he just. But like, I would assume that someone unable to perform a simple combo of five buttons would be unable to beat Awakened Alma on hard. I don't know. He seems capable of doing everything else. He's beaten Ninja Gaiden uh, two on hard, which is. He just can't the Azuna drop. Yeah. It's, that's very strange. Yes, it is. But I've got an O's. Oh, we've got a KO. And this level features random walls you can walk through that are marked by bananas and allow you to kill bees. So, uh, Moogie, what was going through your mind when you designed this level? We're still making the jokes about me designing this game. Jokes? Do you I'm know confused. how... You know how long we've been making jokes about me making Donkey Kong Country games? Wait, wait, wait. I'm confused. I thought that it was... <laughs> what, what, what's going on here? I'm going to me? kill you. <laughs> I, I'm so sick of these games at this point. <laughs> well, you know, we still have a ROM hack to play through after this. Yeah, but that's a ROM hack, so it's, it's well, much more barrel. Why did we can ever find said ROM hack? Yeah. I, I Alex was looking for it, but... Actually, he wasn't looking for it. He just said he was looking for it. Well, he was trying to get someone else to find it, last I checked. Like, someone who actually knows Japanese. Well. Well, uh, we could try and get Teru to find it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't think that would work. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe and why are there so it? many random visible paths in this game? I don't know. Like, or specifically this level. Oh yeah, by the way guys, you might notice that these barrels are spinning on their own. This is not supposed to happen, it is a glitch with the version of ZSNES we're using, so... It's gonna create great spot a... in a later level. Yeah. More specifically a level in the Lost World with spinning barrels. Because they rotate uncontrollably. Just to let you know, we're gonna have to use save states. Pretty much. And uh, maybe with, with clever editing, we can make it look less horrendous than it will actually be. But that's unlikely, mostly because I'm incredibly lazy. Well, it would just be like selecting the section of failed attempts and deleting it. Or and starting it with the, the Benny Hill theme. Yeah, and speeding it up like 200%. So what's the point of those birds there? I mean, they, they They're don't angels. hide anything, do they? Oopsie. They're the trumpeters welcoming you to heaven. Really? Because you know you've been climbing up Jesus' dead body this entire time. And he's like he's like the tree of Yggdrasil in uh, uh, Norse mythology. Oh, basically. okay. I wasn't aware of that. That's a good insight there. Yeah. So as we climb further up Jesus' body, we celebrate. For we have almost reached the top. The toxic tower. The tour toxic. Indeed. We're going to take a tour of Jesus' most toxic parts. Oh dear. That sounds very sketchy. It does. What, uh... What do you suppose his most toxic parts are? The part that um, turns I'm... water into wine, maybe? Probably. Also, I like how Ratley's, uh, like, basically his entire sprite can go inside of ceilings. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I... He's just got, like... He, he's like, he's like, he's got just like this little square inside him that's his hitbox. Yeah, he should be in a Toho game. Pretty much. They should, we should make a Toho game based on Donkey Kong Country. That would be cool. I mean, uh, you know, Diddy has like his, his peanut pistol. That could yeah. be a, a weapon. Of course, you would only be able to play as Dixie because this is a Toho game. Oh, this is true. Or you could also be Tiny. Oh yeah, that's true. I mean, it's the same thing, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. So uh, apparently, this level is supposed to be really hard. I, I, 
I don't really know. I mean, it's I've not. Had any, I've never had a problem with this level in my life. I think I had a problem when I was like nine and I played this level because I was. I only had problems with animal game. antics and web woods when I was like zero. Yeah, because playing I don't, games. I don't even zero know how old. Hard. I don't know how old I was, so I'm just gonna say it was zero. Okay, well that that's probably pretty accurate. Much yeah. like Lelouch. Oh ho 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 ho! <laughs> so you need to get a mask now, and from now on you're gonna LP in your mask. <laughs> I I should get the voice modulator so I can sound like Lelouch. <laughs> yes, they they should make those. They should. Oopsie. Wow, you're pretty good at jumping. Yeah, I am. I'm almost as good at jumping as I am at finding bonus barrels. Like this one. Yeah. This is a pretty boring bonus game, since yeah. you just, you just climb, climb through. Checked. I guess we're like in Jesus' intestines now. Yeah, his, inte his intestines are made out of thorns. Yeah. Wait, does this mean Jesus has unlimited thorn works? Probably. So he's actually like Archer. Yeah. So basically, Jesus was summoned as a servant. Yeah, pretty much. Is what much. you're telling. That's that, pretty that's cool. That's actually exactly what it is. And uh, what class would he be? Uh, probably Avenger, since you know Avenger is basically Jesus already. Yeah. So um, it's time for the final boss. Oh. We're gonna battle Spoilers, Jesus this is now. Really, the final boss. Look at hear that. You hear that triumphant music? And there's Jesus. No, I don't. Oh, we've beaten I him. Your yeah. Voice and that's it. Because Skype is gay. What? Jesus has been kidnapped. This oh, could no. only be the work of Judas. <laughs> Jesus has been kidnapped by Judas. Are you a bad enough monkey to rescue the Jesus? Let's hope so.